Sea turtles are one of Hawaii's most valuable assets. People from around the world flock to Hawaii to swim, dive, or just to view one of these magnificent creatures. Sea turtles in Hawaii are called honu, and I've been lucky over the last 30 years to dive and surf with these turtles on a daily basis as a professional marine biologist. The turtles live on the reef. They sleep underwater. They're very spiritual. They're very ancient. The sea turtles went extinct, or almost extinct at one time in Hawaii until they were protected under the Endangered Species Act. Now they've rebounded and are quite plentiful. It's actually one of the most successful stories of an animal coming back under the Endangered Species Act. This video is with me out at Tunnels Reef, scuba diving with one of my favorite sea turtles I named Ananalu. The turtles are a very much a part of the entire ecosystem on our reefs here in Hawaii, which is actually quite complex. The turtles feed on the algae, which helps keep the algae to a minimum. The algae can kill corals, so it's important that the turtle comes in and cleans the reef so the corals can grow. Most all of the fish and marine life here in Hawaii revolve around this beautiful ecosystem with the honu, the green sea turtle. As you can see with this hawksbill turtle, which is quite rare here in Hawaii, the sea turtles eat the algae by reaching in and grabbing it with their sharp beaks. They also, at the same time, eat part of the reefs. Their beaks are very, very, very hard. It's quite difficult for a turtle to bite off the algae without getting pieces of the reef in its mouth. This green sea turtle is actually chewing up part of the reef and you can hear it. Their beaks take the rocks and part of the reef and the corals and actually grind them up with the algae. They try to spit out most of the dirt and the coral particles and just eat the algae. Recently here in Kauai we've had a very terrible white coral disease infection on our rice corals all throughout the North Shore of Kauai. This has really been a bad problem and hundreds of thousands of corals are infected with this new type of bacteria. The limu, the seaweed as you can see here, grows right next to and on top of a lot of this infected coral. The USGS and the University of Hawaii came over and studied this with me and took samples and DNA samples. I often take my students, my school classes out to snorkel with the turtles. The kids love them. But lately we've been finding a lot more of the turtles with these tumors growing on their faces. This has been prevalent here in Hawaii over the years, but now it's more prevalent. We're also seeing a number of the fish, like these toby fish, that actually eat the coral polyps are coming down with diseases and turning black. This is really bad because it causes their fins to fall off and these fish to die quite quickly. Some of the turtles sit here by the rocks that are covered with these tumors. These tumors also grow in the turtles throats and cause them to where they can't eat and the turtles then will soon die. But the most alarming thing that I found lately, really disturbing to me, was scuba diving at Anini Beach the other day in an area of highly infected reef with lots of this white coral disease. And I got a movie of this honu, this sea turtle, that has gone completely blind. If you look close, it lacks its eyes. This turtle was very, very healthy only about a month or two ago, as you can tell by its good body weight. Right now, it can't see where it's going. It's running into the rocks and I'm sure it'll perish soon or get eaten by a tiger shark. We've been able to see and track now the turtles that are around the areas of this white coral disease. They're coming down with more eye infections. We found the blind turtle. We also have these turtles with the tumors all over them now are becoming more plentiful. This is extremely worrying because this white coral disease is spread all throughout the North Shore of Kauai in a matter of three months. And most all of the turtles are feeding in areas that have this white coral disease. 
In order to keep these turtles healthy so we don't lose them, like what happened almost 100 years ago, and we protect them, we need to study this disease and study the turtles and get more biologists and people out in the water studying this on a daily basis so we can figure out how to keep these turtles healthy for the future generations that come to Hawaii to be able to dive, surf, or swim with. Thank you for watching.